Here's a simple scale, let's zero it out. Here is the hull. Mold making for the hull. The hull is pretty simple, it is just made out of a foam core, like everyone else does. Then sand it flush and put a layer of fiberglass on top, then coated it with some resin to have a smooth surface. Then applied this grey gel coat on top and plenty of layers of some carbon fiber. Then I used wooden um, ribs to give it some more strength against bending and a solid base plate. I also used a marker to put down the name of the hull so it's pretty easy to com communicate around it. Now you might ask why it is white and not grey like on top. Um, the first hull I made with this mold got me so excited that I forgot the release agent and I had to sand back the whole layup um, including the first layer of gel coat because it was destroyed. Uh, that's why I had to reapply a new gel coat. This is a white gel coat from a German manufacturer, which is no longer produced sadly, to reshape everything. It was plenty of sanding, but it shows me that in these areas where I have the wood, it is sustained way more rigidity and therefore I get some marks from sanding. The same comes around here we have more sanding marks in this area. This mold is around about 5 mm thick, so in case you want to build one, just make sure to have it more than 5 mm. I have made this flange not really straight, so um, what happens is the hull can now slide on top of that, like, like that and we have a pretty big bonding surface. So to achieve that I took this piece of wood and used my jigsaw to cut straight around here in an angle of like three degrees. And then with the putty and the tape, this is just usual release tape or packing tape, everything will work and you don't need any release agent. Um, you have a awesome finish. This finish is later on sanded back and will be the gluing flange for the whole uh, deck structure to the hull. Mold making will be as following. I am going to reapply the wood to extend around about like here, then make the mold for the top part then flip everything around and demold the wood and build a second layup over here. So in case of building the deck I can laminate straight down all around the deck, vacuum bag it and then demold the flange area and have a nice flange which is looking to the inside of the deck and when I place it down it's going to be flat and going to be chamfered like like that and pretty easy to fit the hull on top. Yeah that's the whole reason why I did the extra strap to build this extra surface so smooth. This surface will get some peel ply so I will not have any sanding to do and I will run a bead of glue round about here and it's all said and done. For the transom I still don't know if I want to keep it open and glue it afterwards or if I want to attach it to the mold. Um, yeah, I think I will keep it open. There are some problems we need to address in the next videos or next steps here you can see these white marks, they are pretty small. Here are some minor ones. Those are tiny tiny little cracks which came from demolding because this, mold, uh, this hull was so light that I needed to peel it basically out of the mold. Um, I used a chemical release agent which was pretty good 
but I didn't um, let it cure long enough before demolding. So that's something to address for the next one as well. What you can see are these diagonal lines. These come from stitching or knitting the fiber together. These are basically pre-bent fiber disorientation, but they are not shown in the surface of the boat. The surface of the boat is just a single layer of uh, resin inside the mold. To achieve that, you just brush in some resin with thixotropic powder like Erosil, let it cure around about three or four hours, then apply a new layer of fresh resin and then you can add your pre packed um, first layer of carbon fiber. This will give you a super light finish and still a water sealed and air sealed outer skin. Let's put that thing on a scale. Here's a simple scale. Let's zero it out. We are at zero grams. Here is the hull and the hull comes around I think 120 grams. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's change the units. That's 0 0.2 pounds. That's 120 grams and so on. No digitals on this one. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, still pretty soft, so I need to adjust something on this. Oh, and what I think is what we can do to give it more rigidity is to bend it like that. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments if that is what you were hoping to get in the new video. And if, you, if I should address something for the next one, please let me know as well. Last but not least, if you have subscribed to my channel, let me know if you get notified if you hit the bell. Because recently I found that I don't get notified from my favorite YouTube channels, even though I have turned on the bell next to the subscribe button. I'm wondering if you get any information, so write down in the comments if you get notified. Till then, let me know what you want to see and see you in the next one.